And I think it part of I probably, I think for us and probably for others, part of figuring out who we wanted to be around. Remote work was not as popular at that time as it sure. is now, but we were a remote first company. Now a lot more people do have experience mm-hmm. working remotely, obviously. How do you, uh, how do you recommend trying to figure out if a candidate for a remote position has the right mindset or ability or di- diligence to work well remotely? How does that affect your recruiting? I mean, we, we did a few things. I mean, to your point, it's changed a little bit because more people have this remote experience. So we never set out to say they had to have remote experience in the past because that was a really hard thing to find, which, you know, and, and tell them they needed to have a, a webcam and we, they were going to be on Zoom with me or whatever we were using. And so it was like step one, can they follow a set of instructions? And it was shocking how many of them couldn't follow. They if they couldn't yeah. follow a set of instructions for most jobs in the company I owned, you were out. It's like you have to be able to independently be able to read instructions and figure it out. Right. Yeah. I don't care if you got to go ask nine people that has nothing to do with me to figure it out. But like as long as I think that you figured it out by the time you got to me, then I was okay. 